Hello! Today I'm here with a new video and it's a new Will I Buy It video. I am recording this on a Saturday. I usually do it on Sundays and editing and put it up on Sundays. But I don't have the time to do it tomorrow, all of it. So we are going to check on some new releases, release things. And I have newly washed my hair and it's not dry. Oh yeah, you can't see the part that's not dry. So that's good. So, okay, I'm gonna scratch my ear. And then we will begin. And we can start with Urban Decay. So, last week I talked about the original Naked One, that it's going... It's dead. They buried that palette, literally. They made a funeral video and everything, so that's gone. And then some days after that, or maybe a week, people start talking about Naked Cherry. So I can see that Urban Decay has said, yes, this is our new Naked palette. It's coming out then and then and then. I just have seen it on other Instagrams. Uh, Trend Mood and Makeup Hunter's Beauty Nose. Makeup Beauty Nose. Okay, and um, I think this was Urban Decay that did this because they have never, or okay, um, the last couple of years they has not have this many eyes on them, as many people that are googling Urban Decay. So this is the perfect time to leak a new naked palette. So I think this is not the coincidence that people found this and yeah found pictures of it that Urban Decay hasn't released. It feels like Urban Decay was planning this. Maybe I'm completely wrong but it feels like that because it's so perfect and I think people will talk about this Naked Cherry now because everybody was already talking about Urban Decay and Naked palettes. That's my thing. Okay, but the Naked Cherry palette, it looks like this. I think I have had the picture up for a while because I'm just rambling. Um, I will not buy this. Um, I think they could have made it a little bit more fun. This seems almost like the Naked Free, I think, but it's a little bit darker. It would be fun with very bright um, red. I understand that the naked palettes are supposed to be nude-ish. Like an everyday palette. But I think they can have one pop of color maybe. But they has not. The other palette Urban Decay is releasing is the Element palette. And it looks like this. And people has raved about this like crazy. And I just can't see what's so fun with it. I've seen some swatches and they are really nice. And the palette is a little bit unusual with a round palette. And that the shadows are all... But I don't think it's any special with this. And Urban Decay, they are like spitting out palettes right now and I just like... No, don't want it, not interested at all. So I'm not going to buy either of this, if even Naked Cherry is a thing. And I think they're also releasing a highlighter. I have one Urban Decay highlighter palette, the Kristen Leanne. I like that, but it's not that good. I bought that one on sale. I don't know if I would have bought it on not on sale um, so I'm not going to buy this either okay enough about Urban Decay now we can go to my one of my favorite brush brands and that is Real Techniques and they are releasing brushes like crazy also they have come out I think it was in my first Will I Buy It video I was talking about the Galaxy brushes I don't know if they're called that I think you can buy them already and now they have um, 
are going to release their holidays 2018s. 2018. And it looks like this. I think the packaging looks like kids brushes. It looks cheap and just... I don't understand why you would do this because this looks like a, like the cheapest brush you can buy. So I don't understand why they're doing this. It's not a nice packaging. I'm okay with their usual packaging. It's nothing special. But these ones or this packaging, it looks like kids brush. I'm not going to buy this whole set. And I don't really know what kind of pen brushes it is. If um, it's one big set and two smalls, I think they have divided the big one. But I only have a picture on the one of the small ones. But I'm not going to buy the big one. And usually when they release this big holiday palette... Oh, I have talked for like 8 minutes. We have to speed this up. Okay, when they are releasing this kind of holiday bundles and stuff they are usually just sold in the bundle that i think it's a little bit boring with real techniques because they always do that so you have to buy like six brushes even though you want one i have done it <laughs> okay next thing and um, we can talk about visiart i have never tried visiart i have seen a lot of people that i follow like their colorful palette and what I know, it's very good and people like it, but it's expensive like hell, that palette. It's only 12 colors. And now this art has come out with a no, no, the 01 neutral matte. And I think the colors are nice, but it's nothing I'm going to pick up. It's too much money for colors that I don't want and I already have some of these colors so I'm not going to pick this up. Next up we have a much cheaper palette and that is um, ELF Cosmetics is coming out with uh, the opposite attract palette and it looks like this. I haven't tried ELF like in two years I think. When I first started with makeup I had a lot of ELF because it's cheap and it's good products and if you don't know what you like you can buy a lot of different products and try out and you will still have money left but I, I think I want to try this it may be not the most fun palette I have seen but I would really like to try something new from ELF because it was such a long time I bought something from them and I want to see if if they are any better. I had like they had some small palettes with four colors I think they were not so good but yeah I maybe will pick this up if it comes to Sweden and if it comes in stores so I can swatch it and, and so on. So yes today's first maybe. Okay and what do we have more? Yeah Too Faced is expanding their Sweet Peach collection. Uh, so they're coming out with a Sugar Peach Wet and Dry Face and Eye Palette, Peach Lip Scrub, Peach Lip Balm, and Peach Shades. I don't know if it's only the Peach Shades that I knew. I'm not that into Too Faced. I never thought of buying any one of the palettes. I have. The one with Kat Von D, but I don't like the palette as much. And I don't like smelly makeup, I have said this before. So I will not pick this up. I think it's nothing special. Maybe if you love Too Faced, but I don't. Another drugstore um, thing is Revolution. I think they're called Revolution. It feels like they're changing their name all the time. Makeup revolution, 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 makeup revolution, revolution. I don't know. 
I think it's only Revolution. But then the packaging says Makeup Revolution London. So I don't know. But they are coming out with a new foundation. Their Conceal and Define Full Coverage Foundation. I have the concealer and I think it's good. It's vegan and it's like 6 euros. It's the cheapest concealer I ever tried I think. And it's really good for the money and it's vegan. And I think this foundation is going to be the same. It's like the concealer but in a foundation. But I don't like full coverage. So I'm not going to pick this up I think. If I ever want to try a full coverage foundation. I think this is uh, the one I can buy. But I don't, I don't like full coverage. It's not my thing. So right now no. The next one is uh, Fenty Beauty. They are coming with new highlighters. I think it's both liquid highlighters and a powder highlighter. I have a lipstick from Fenty Beauty, nothing else. And this highlighter seems like a glitter fest. And I don't like chunky glittery highlighters. Sometimes yes, but I will not buy this expensive highlighter and maybe not like it because I'm usually not that into chunky glittery highlighters. I'm a little bit tired also. I was like out for the first time in I don't know how long. I'm not the only out person. And then I have just started to work again after my vacation and I am so freaking tired. I came home half past one in the night yesterday and whew, I didn't drink alcohol though because I don't drink <laughs> but I have been working all day and then come home fix myself and get out got out and play some pool with some friends and go sitting out and I'm tired today I don't know how it happened but I am okay what do we have more yeah, Strobe Cosmetics, um, an indie brand. I have their Creepy Cute palette and I love that palette. It's one of my absolute favorite palettes. They are releasing, I think they have it, I think it's today they are releasing 11 brand new chunky glitters. And there is something about glitters. I really like them, I like to look at them, I like to dip my finger in them but I don't use them. I have two glitters from Body Shop but that's all the glitter I have and I think I used it once. It's like everywhere all the time and you can't control it and it will stay on on your clothes and on your face like forever and in your hair but I really like the colors so if I will be into glitters, I would buy some of these. I think they are vegan. Yes, they are. I think everything they do is vegan. So if you want glitters, these look really, really nice. They are 11 colors and they are chunky glitters. I like the Skyfire. I think I put it in the picture because it's two pictures. Uh, on the top one, in the middle, you even can see the name, I think. And I also love the Digital Love and Love Cloud. So, if I ever want glitters, maybe these will be the ones. Okay, I think we just have one more thing because I'm babbling and toggling and babbling. I just can't find it. Yeah, here it is. It is from Blush Tribe. And I am waiting for my order from Blush Tribe. I ordered the Hasina 2 palette that I said I will never buy in my will I buy it? in my first will I buy it I think. But then I have seen videos on it and I like I have to have that palette. And also the Blossom palette and they are not they are not here yet. I hope they will come next week. And I'm looking so so much forward to it. Uh, but she's releasing 
the Blush Tribe Fall Fusion palette. It's coming in now in September. I don't think this is for me, but I also said it about the Hasina palette, Hasina 2 palette. So I don't know. I have to check reviews on it and I want to try the Blush Tribe first and see what I think. But what I have heard, their shadows are amazing. So maybe if I like the shadows and when I see some reviews and see what people think, then maybe I also will get this. So I don't know. And that peeps was all. It feels like it feels like I have been all over this video, but I am a little bit stressed. I'm tired. <sighs> Yeah, maybe that's all. And I, oh, I'm, I don't understand how, when I was younger, I could like partying two, three days in a row, and now I have been out not drinking a single drop of alcohol, and I am just like finished. I am so freaking tired, and I don't understand why. So I really hope you like this video. And I will see you in the next one. And if you liked it, please press thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel if you are already not. So I will see you in the next video. Bye!